Wow, it's humbling to be here, it really is. I love music. In fact, I'm really in awe of the power of music and its ability to inspire and get people engaged. So, but instead of listening to me talk about it, let's go to an expert. I'm just an American whose mom thinks he needs a haircut. <laughs> this is Stevie Wonder, a true expert. And Stevie says, music is a world in and of itself with a language we all understand. A language we all understand. So what's that mean? To demonstrate it, let's take a hop across the pond and think about another artist, a British artist, David Bowie. Rest in peace. One of David Bowie's greatest hits was called Let's Dance. What an amazing set of words. Let's dance. Let's, you and I, dance. And let's look at how it's written in some of the most common languages on the planet. Here's how Let's Dance written in Mandarin. Here it is in Spanish. Here it is in Hindi. Now in Russian, in French, in Punjabi. <coughs> now in Japanese, and finally English. You might recognize several of these, but you can see it's widely varied, Let's Dance. Let's take a look now at how, if we used musical notes, it's written in these various languages. So using musical notes, this is what it looks like in Mandarin. This is Let's Dance in Spanish. This is how it's written in Hindi, again in Russian, in French, in Punjabi, in Japanese, and in English. Look at that. It's all the same. And reflecting on this, I felt like I discovered the true Rosetta Stone, right? This is music written exactly the same no matter where you are in the world. And it's clear that what connects us is much more powerful than what, what separates us. So what's, it's not above from your shoulders above, it's really from your shoulders below what's in your heart and what's in your soul. I think that's what Stevie really meant when he talked about a language we all understand. So, I believe in the limitless power of youth. In fact, the wonderfully limitless power of youth. And I'm sort of obsessed by unlocking that power. And I think the secret, one of the secrets, a very powerful secret to unlocking that power, are those dots we just saw by using music to engage. Now, I know a bit about the power of music. When I was 20, I dropped out of school to go on tour with the Grateful Dead. That was very powerful. It dragged me around the States, took me overseas for the first time. I really knew this was strong, strong stuff, below the shoulders, in the heart, in the soul. So against this backdrop, my friends and I decided after the events of 2001, the terrorist attacks, in the States, attacks that unfortunately are happening far too often in far too many places around the world, that we wanted to do something about it. Our politicians at the time were saying, go back to life as normal, go shopping. That wasn't very inspiring. We thought then, as we do now, we can do a lot better. This can't be the best that humanity can do. There's got to be more. And the way that we're going to get there is by working together inspiring each other to come together to help make our neighborhoods, our city, our countries, the world a better place. And we really feel like music was the place to do it. So we started our company called Rockcore. So Rockcore uh, did its very first concert in New York City with a little bit of a twist. We didn't sell any tickets to that show. You couldn't win a ticket to that concert. You had to do four hours of volunteer work at a community project we helped organize with local nonprofits. Didn't matter what it was. Could be a homeless shelter, a food bank, a park, a hospital. You just had to come out and do some work. You got to take it to the gig. And it really seemed to work. But why did we pick music? We picked music, again, for its power. I'm pretty sure that here in other countries this morning, not very many 15, 17, 19, 22, 25-year-olds woke up th thinking about volunteer work and civic engagement. Okay, maybe a few did, but a lot more woke up thinking about music. The track they heard yesterday, a link someone sent them on YouTube, something they heard on the radio. 
And we really believe that engaging in that passion first, which for us is music, is really critical. So it might be different for you. It might be sports, it might be dance, visual art, graphic design, uh, anything with passion, because that's how we are as human beings. Culture isn't something we just do on nights or weekends. It's what connects us. It's that powerful stuff from our shoulders down in our hearts and in our soul. So let's engage each other and make our cities a better place, but by starting with a conversation that involves passion. So <coughs> the amazing thing that happens in these volunteer projects is that people come, yes, at first for the ticket, but very quickly they meet a couple others, they come with their friends, they join with 50 others, they get some work done, then they go to a concert with 5,000 others who see that everybody's done the same thing. It's really powerful and it starts to become its own reward. But we didn't start the conversation of, hey, come out and volunteer. We started a conversation around passion that for us is music. So it worked pretty well in New York. We took it around the States. It was what brought me to the UK for the first time with, with, the, with rock core. And we've now done it in 10 countries, been going for 13 years. Been able to work with some amazing artists, Rihanna, Lady Gaga, ASAP Rocky, Puff Daddy, David Getty, hundreds more, David Guetta, hundreds more. And uh, 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 it's really powerful stuff and continues to go around the world. But something strange happened to me along this journey. In around 2011, I was called down to 10 Downing Street the Prime Minister, who was then David Cameron, wanted to meet with me, wanted to talk about this rock core thing. Now, this is sort of a strange experience for me. I'm from the west coast of the States. Growing up, I'd never met a Republican, let alone voted for one. So I thought, OK, this is a bit odd. Well, it's not exactly true. I did vote for Arnold Schwarzenegger once for governor of California. <laughs> but I often say, if you can vote for the Terminator for office, you do it, right? <laughs> but I met the Prime Minister. He's interested about rock core a bit, but Really, he wanted to talk about a new program at that time. It was in its pilot phase called National Citizen Service. And it was for 16 and 17 year olds come together, uh, uh, learn how to work together, and become leaders in community and start to move our country forward. I thought it was very interesting. But first, before I decided to join on, and I did become the founding chairman of the trust that oversees it, is let's agree on the principles, which we did then when there were 750 people on the project. And those principles are, no matter who you are, what background you come from as a teenager, we're going to respect what's in your heart and what's in your soul. We're going to see those common notes among you. It doesn't matter your educational background, your economic background, faith, your family, geography. Everybody has these wonderful gifts to, to contribute. We respect those gifts. The program then gives you some tools and some opportunity to use those tools. Respect, tools, and opportunity. That was the principle when we had 750 people. We're now up over 100,000 a year in National Citizen Service by staying very true to those principles about seeing what's common amongst people, sharing our similarities and what connects us. So <coughs> that's National Citizen Service. But whether it's Rock Corps or National Citizen Service, another thing we've learned that's very important is you have to celebrate. Okay? It's not just enough to engage and do the work. We have to step back and we have to say thanks to one another. We have to have music. For us, you know, we do, we do these concerts. For you, it'll be uh, maybe music, maybe a different passion, but take a moment to celebrate. It's very important. Nobody is ready to engage and start making improvements in our community unless they're feeling some joy and some inspiration. Celebration is critical. Now, just to sum up, engage through passion. Look at the, make sure that there is respect, tools, and opportunity, and at the very end, celebrate. And let's dance. Thanks very much.